What's up folks, it's your boy Coach Ty, back at you with another one, and this one is for the ladies. Three mistakes ladies make inside the gym. Let's get straight into it. Mistake number one, not lifting weights, staying exclusively in the cardio section of the gym. Now over the years, while I was personal training, I personal trained for several years at a fairly high level, I trained probably definitely dozens if not hundreds of women and typically their main goal would be to lose body fat to tone up and toning typically means building some muscle and losing some body fat but primarily losing the body fat and I would tell these ladies the best way to lose body fat and the reason you haven't lost the body fat that you want to lose is because you're staying exclusively in the cardio section of the gym. Lifting weights when it's been compared in the research to doing pure cardio is superior for body fat loss. Even when compared to the combination of lifting weights and cardio, just lifting weights one. And it was typically a very common response I would get to this. Oh, Ty, I don't want to lift weights. I'm going to get all bulky. I'm going to look like a man. I hear your concerns and I acknowledge them. However, this is not something that you need to be concerned with. Saying I don't want to lift weights because I might get too bulky is like saying I don't want to play basketball because I might accidentally make it to the NBA. Saying I don't want to lift weights because I might look like Ronnie Coleman or, or Arnold Schwarzenegger is like saying, I don't want to play basketball because I might accidentally become Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. If you put every bit of effort that you had into building muscle, you still would not look like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Ronnie Coleman, even if you did do drugs. And I'm going to assume you're not going to do drugs to build muscle. So getting too bulky is not really a thing you need to be concerned with. In fact, Going into your fitness, your body fat loss, your muscle gain, strength gain journey with the mindset of, I don't want to do too much because I might get too big of a result is a recipe for not seeing any progress at all. I had a buddy of mine who shall remain nameless tell me that, you know, Ty, I, I want to lose some weight. You know, I mean, I don't want to be as muscular as you and I shed a tear after receiving such a massive compliment. I'm like, wow, this guy thinks I'm a level of muscular that he doesn't want to be. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good place to be. After I got over this massive compliment, I said, okay, what are your goals? Oh, just lose some body fat. Okay. Don't want to get too big. Okay, fine. I wrote him a program, gave him some general diet advice, and sent him on his way. Two, three months later, he hadn't really made any progress. Reason being was he wasn't pushing very hard in the gym because again, he didn't want to get too muscular. He didn't want to get too bulky. If you're not putting at least 90% effort into this, you're not going to see the result that you want to see. And going into it, like uh, to change the context, would you in seeking a promotion at your job, would you, would you go into it with the mindset of, I don't want to work too hard because I might get promoted too highly. Of course not, because you know that there's a lot more to it than just that. Same thing with building muscle. If you're going to build the kind of muscle that you don't want to build, your training, your diet, and your, let's be honest, drug intake needs to be on point. The average person walking around who starts lifting weights is not going to reach a level of muscularity that is, we'll say, concerning. Number two, training like men. Now, this might sound a little contradictory to my previous point, but hear me out for a second. So, in one respect, you can train just like the males. Lifting weights, the exercise selection, your muscles function much the same way my muscles do. Your biceps flex your elbow, your triceps extend your elbow, your quads extend your knee, your hamstrings flex your knee. Same thing there. Now you might select different exercises than a male because you have different goals, right? Most ladies, they want, you know, uh, 
more muscularity in their legs, not really in their upper body, and most guys are the opposite. So in that respect, you choose different exercises, but regardless, if you have a male and a female and they both want bigger quads, the exercise selection doesn't necessarily need to be different. Where the difference comes in is on a slightly deeper level, hormonally. Women, of course, have more estrogen, men have more testosterone. Now, estrogen gets a very bad rep when it comes to both muscle growth and body fat loss, but estrogen is actually not bad. It's not a bad thing, it's, it's just not a bad thing. Estrogen is muscle sparing and anti-catabolic. So estrogen keeps women from burning as much muscle as men do. Now, because of this, and also because women typically have higher amounts of type one or slow twitch muscle fibers than their male counterparts, Women can handle far more volume than men can. More reps, more sets, and more frequency. So in that respect, you should not train like a man. You should be doing more volume than a male does because you will handle it better. You'll recover more quickly. And one quick side note, women get better results from doing steady state cardio as opposed to high interval, high intensity interval training. Women are built to endure and that is reflected in their training, how they should train, and also the results that they see from training. Number three, not adjusting your training to your menstrual cycle. Now, I found this research to be extremely interesting when I first came across it, and so I am happy to share it with you. Of course, hormone production varies quite widely throughout a woman's menstrual cycle to the degree that I would make a strong argument that you should train based on where you are in your menstrual cycle. Or put another way, you should adjust your training based on where you are in your menstrual cycle. And one side note before we get into the actual study I want to cite, another study, this seems to work regardless of whether you're taking the pill or not. During the luteal phase, the hormonal changes that you experience lead to a higher metabolism. And during the follicular phase of the menstrual cycle, women typically see higher amounts of strength. So you should reverse engineer from there. So during your luteal phase, I would suggest doing more quote unquote cut based program designing. I hesitate to use that word because cutting is essentially based on your diet, but higher amounts of reps, lower rest periods, moving faster, um, things that will get your heart rate a little bit higher, things that will speak to your higher metabolism during that phase. And during the follicular phase, doing a more, we'll say, strength-based program, training with slightly lower reps and focusing on improving your strength. Now, this is not just an idea, a theoretical idea. This actually was put to the test by a group of researchers. The study is called Effects of Follicular versus Luteal Phase Based Strength Training in Young Women. And for the sake of being brief, we will skip straight to the conclusions that the researchers found. And this will be linked down below, of course, if you'd like to check out the study yourself. In conclusion, this study demonstrated that follicular phase-based strength training induced a greater effect on muscle strength, muscle, and type 2 fiber diameters, and nuclei to fiber ratio compared to luteal phase-based strength training in untrained and moderately trained women. We recommend that eumenorrheic females without oral contraception base the periodization of strength training on their individual menstrual cycle. Again. I think that's pretty cool and pretty incredible and extremely interesting that, again, this is a, 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 an advantage that women will have over men and a way that you can get the most out of your training. Thanks for listening. As always, guys, I'm your boy, Coach Ty. Please let me know what you want to hear from me next, and I will see you with the next one. Deuces.